Hey everyone, uh, hold your set, it's for your mouth, this is Haberdashery. Uh, background uh, play is, uh, of course, from uh, Piggy's Revenge, Hardcore Server, which is certainly a lot more hardcore now that after uh, 1.0.6, for obvious reasons. Uh, also note there are two custom bosses in here, um, with the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the evil bunny thing, it shoots a bunch of dots and... Then there's the demon, who is just a really pumped-up version of the normal demon. He shoots, like, 80 gaj gajillion demon size. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I just figured I'd uh, make a little video, chat a little bit about 106, now that it's out. Uh, kinda, you know, just give a few of my opinions on, uh, you know, how it's all, um... How it's all panned out, how it looks like it's going to pan out in the future. Um... So anyways, yeah. Uh, obviously there's just like this ocean of changes. Um, not so much with content, but with, uh, you know, um, you know, a lot of quality of life. <laughs> that guy blew himself up with a grenade. Um, a lot of quality of life changes, you know, with all the increased inventory management and um, all of the new uh, vanity items, which you can see a lot of them uh, here in this video. But, um... And it was a lot of stuff like that, but there were also just, you know, this big swath of balance changes, and kind of like how, uh, you know, there's a lot of changes in, like, what items you want to use, and, and there's uh, it's pretty much classes now, more or less, where there's just a lot of different um, ways you can approach uh, different characters, and I, and I kind of wanted to opine on that a little bit, specifically, because I, I think that's the one big change the patch brought that really has the most to talk about. Um, obviously, you know, you kind of see this move to this uh, um, trinity, this, uh, you know, uh, triforce, if you will, of classes between uh, melee, ranged, and, um, and magic. And um, I, I, I see what they're doing with it, and I think, I think, it's, a good, I think it's a good step to take. I think, kind of, instead of just kind of letting everything be willy-nilly as far as, uh, you know, oh, well, I can do everything, you know, kind of giving each set of armor its own little niche and kind of balancing everything around that. The, the game desperately needed a system to balance everything around, and I think uh, they have one. I think they have one, and I think it also kind of lays a foundation for future, uh, you know, future options. But um, a quick note, um, you know, just to kind of cover what some of the classes, how some of the classes work. It looks like, if, if you're going melee, your ultimate goal is you're either going to want to go with Shadow Armor or Molten Armor. Molten Armor gives you um, a, a, a ton of armor, and then a melee boost, uh, a melee dam a straight up melee damage boost, and that's obviously valuable for reasons I shouldn't have to explain. Um, and then the Shadow Armor gives you extra movement speed, but it also gives you extra swing speed. So, um, it really seems like the Shadow Armor is really meant for, like, someone who's swinging a, uh, like a Knight's Edge or a Blade of Grass, um, in my opinion. Like, some would say, oh, I want to take that swing speed and juice up to Muramasa. Well, yeah, but I think your real value is, uh, with your, um, increasing your swing speed with, with, with something really slow and making it markedly better, um... And then with Molten Armor, you would want to use the Muramasa, because then you're kind of making, you're making, you already have a very fast swing speed, and then you're just augmenting it with more damage. Um, that's kind of the way I see it, personally, though. Maybe, I mean, maybe that might not be the best approach. I'm not going to claim to be um, the, the end-all, be-all on uh, Terraria class strategy, but whatever. Um... And I think the melee's in a good place, you know. It's uh, it, it's a little kind of obvious, but isn't any melee approach in any game. Um, but then you got, uh, you know, your ranged, which um, which I think ranged is a good place. Your, your end goal is obviously Necro Armor. Uh, for the, uh, it gives you extra range damage and then a chance to not use ammo, which is awesome. It's pretty good. Um, and But you do sacrifice armor. Necro Armor did get nerfed down below... Um, you know, what Shadow Armor is, and obviously below what Molten Armor is. Um, but, you know, you're ranged, so you don't, you know, you're not going to be in the thick of things. It makes sense. Um, and um, my big problem, I think I think the melee and the ranged are in a good place. I think the big problem is with magic. Because um, I think there's not enough advantage. Uh, now, I'm not going to claim to be the end-all, be-all on it, but I have played a decent amount. 
uh, with all three different archetypes. As you can see in this video, I'm, I'm pretty much ranged. I'm wearing necro armor and everything. Um, you can't tell because I'm wearing the archaeologist suit, but whatever. The problem with magic is that there's no early options. Like, your earliest option um, to kind of go in that direction and get used to that playstyle... What's the first magic item you get? It's either going to be Vilethorn or the Space Gun. Um, neither of which you get where I would call early. Like, those are both mid-game items. And I think, not only... There's a few other questions, but I think the biggest problem with the whole... with the magic part of this Triforce of Classes is the fact that there's no early game. Like, there's no wooden bow or, or iron short sword uh, equivalent for magic. You know, there needs to be, like, a wand or, like, fairy dust or something, you know, so, something that makes people want to start using and developing a magic character early on. In addition to that, I also think magic, even though they did a number of things to make it a lot better, like, I love the way Magic Missile and Flame Lash act now, <sighs> magic's still missing something. It's missing something, and I'm not sure what it is, and maybe that's time for another video. But, um... You know, just kind of wanted to spill my thoughts out, and hope you guys enjoyed the footage in the background of all the chaos. And there I am dying, so I'll leave you with that. Don't die.